Welcome to Electron Online. A couple of videos ago, we solved this inequality. Notice we had a 2x in, in between the two inequality symbols, so we divided every component here by 2, and so this was our solution. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to solve that equation. The only difference is, instead of having a positive 2x here, we have a negative 2x, which means we're going to have to divide by a negative number, which means we're going to have to flip the inequality symbols. So let's rewrite that. So on the left side, we end up with negative 4. Then we have a negative 2x, and we have a 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide the negative 4 by a negative 2. We're going to divide the negative 2x by negative 2, and the 10 by negative 2. But by doing so, we're going to have to flip both of those inequality symbols. So instead of having less than, we're going to have greater than. Now we can solve the rest of the problem. So first, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is a positive 2. It's greater than x, which is greater than a negative 5. Now you will notice that this is kind of different than what we would expect to see it. We typically like the smaller numbers, like negative numbers on the left side and bigger numbers on the right side. So this is really kind of flipped over. Also know that it's negative 5 that's smaller than x, so when we flip this around, we want to make sure that everything is in the same order. So I'm going to put the negative 5 over here. I'm going to have the inequality symbol with the point to the negative 5 in the open space to the x, so it's going to be like this. I'm now going to put the x down. This, the point is going to point to the x, and the 2 is going to go over here. Notice that is the exact same expression here as I had over here, but in a more typical format. We don't have to do that, but it makes things a little bit more common and more familiar to us. So this is now the solution. If we're going to graph the solution, we end up with a negative 5 over here, a 0, a 2, like that. Notice that the endpoints, again, are not included, so we draw little open circles. It's all the values in between. And notice the solution is somewhat different now because we had a negative 2x instead of a positive 2x. And notice instead of the values between negative 2 and 5 being the solution for the inequality, it's now the values between negative 5 and positive 2, which are the solution to that inequality. The only difference is we had a positive 2x over here and a negative 2x over there. But here you can see that when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you will have to flip both of the inequality symbols. And that is how it's done.